Hello and welcome back to the Custom Corner. I've gotten some messages about updating some of my older videos to the newer Bamboo Studio versions. So I downloaded the latest version just now, which happens to be 2.2.2.56. I don't know who comes up with these version numbers. Anyway, we want to do a short review of Boolean's parts and modifiers here. So let's begin with creating a little base for our experiments. Let's create a cube and extend it to a rectangular box. Next, I'll create a cylinder. Let's change the color to something a bit more visible. Let's position it. Now here's a crucial point. We need to group these two models together for the Boolean operations to be enabled. So select both of these models together, right click and choose merge. Now we see the mesh Boolean button get enabled. One thing to note is that any move or scale operation that you want to do on any individual part means choosing it from the objects list from now on. Otherwise, any operation will get applied to the merged group. Let's go ahead and move and scale the cylinder. We'll resize it to 10 millimeters as if we were making holes for magnets. We'll copy and paste by doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V or Command C and V if you're on a Mac. Now we're ready to do our Boolean operation. For this purpose, we'll do a subtraction, since we want to cut a hole in the block, which is the cube as what we want to subtract from and the cylinder for subtract with. We have the delete input checkbox checked since we have no more use for the cylinder. First, we do one cylinder, then the other. Once you hit the subtraction button, the operation occurs and we have our holes. Now, one thing to note is that this operation is destructive. Once you do some other things in the slicer, you cannot change what you did unless you keep hitting undo, which will make you redo a lot of your work. So if you realize that your magnets are eight millimeters wide and you had done all the things in the slicer, you would have to redo all the work that you did after the Boolean operations. Well, there's a non-destructive alternative, which is called negative parts. Let's check that out. In this case, I'm going to create a cone. Notice in the objects list that there's a little negative sign on the ob object icon. The regular part has a positive sign, meaning it's something that will print. The negative part has a negative sign, meaning it will not. Let's position the cone in the center, rotate it, and do a slice preview. You can see how it did the same cut operation as the cylinders before. The difference now is, if we wanted to go back, we can always go ahead and resize it. Now let's go back and do that. We'll make the cone smaller and reslice. Now you can see that we have a smaller cone cut out. That's why it's a pretty powerful method. Next, since it's something uh, that's somewhat related to parts, we'll touch on what a modifier it is. Essentially, it allows you to change how a certain part of the model it's attached to will print. It can change the quality, the speed, or other properties for all the area it covers. So for this cube that I'm going to add to the group, I'm going to set it so that it will print with a fuzzy skin. To do that, first I'll merge it with the group that we have. Then we need to mark this object as a modifier. The way we do that is that we right click on it and choose change type, then choose modifier from the list. We then go to our properties for the object and go to the others tab. We'll change fuzzy skin to contour and leave the rest of the properties as is. If you want a video on some of these other properties, comment below. When we slice, we see that the area which it covers will be fuzzy. Finally, let's check out how we can use this with text. Finally, let's check out what text can do with these operations. We'll select our cube again and then the text tool. We won't get into the nitty gritty of the text tool in this video, but I then want to point out the operation toggles at the bottom of the dialog. You're able to select whether you want a regular part, which will add to the model, a cut, which will carve your text into the model, and a modifier, which means you can change the print properties of the area within the text characters. Let's go ahead and get a cut operation for this, which will cut into the model with our name and then move our fuzzy skin cube to the end. We'll copy and paste the cube to the other side as well, so we have fuzzy ends on either side. We'll do a quick slice to see how everything looks. 
and everything is looking exactly how we wanted. With that, let's go ahead and print it and see the final results. There you have it. We printed out our little block here with our text embossed into it and our fuzzy sides. We have our cutouts on top and everything looks great. I hope that clarified some things for everyone. And if not, just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so I can do more videos for everyone. Thanks again. See you next time.